Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you to test and replace the detergent dispenser on this LG dishwasher, need a Phillips screwdriver, and the tools included with your new dispenser. Let's get started. If one of the dispenser doors is broken, or it's not dispensing rinse aid or detergent properly, you may have a bad or broken dispenser. Please note that none of the pieces are sold separately. To test your dispenser, start by closing the detergent dispenser door, followed by the dishwasher door. Next, press the power and start buttons at the same time to enter test mode. Once in test mode, all of the lights will turn on and the display will flash. Then, press the start button once. If working properly, the solenoid on the dispenser will activate and open the detergent door. If the dispenser door does not open, you may have a bad dispenser, or the dispenser may not be receiving the power signal from the main control board telling it to open. To exit test mode, press the power button. Before starting this repair, you'll need a new detergent dispenser since it comes with tools for removal and installation. If you need a new dispenser, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You wanna make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your dishwasher to make sure you get the correct part. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the dishwasher. With the door open, remove the six Phillips screws along the outside edge. It is easiest to sit cross-legged under the door to support it. Then slide the panel downwards to release it, partially close the door, tilt the cover down, and pry on the bottom corner to remove it. Next, disconnect the electrical connectors from the dispenser. You may need a small tool to pry the locking tab. Now, separate the tools and using the tools labeled side, insert them between the dispenser and the stainless door liner with the word outside facing out. Then, insert the bottom piece in the gap between the dispenser and the flanges. Next, open the door and pull the dispenser from the bottom up and pull out. This may require some force. Before installing the new dispenser, ensure the flanges are in good condition. If any are bent, straighten them and point them slightly inward. Next, place the support tool into position from the outside of the door liner. Open the door and ensure the door is clean. Then, make sure the dispenser is oriented in the right direction, align it, and firmly press until all of the tabs have locked in place. Now, reconnect the electrical connectors. To install the door, align the notches on the door with the hinges, tilt up, and slide in place. While holding the panel in place, open the door and reinstall the screws. With everything put back together, plug the dishwasher back in and run the same test from earlier to make sure that everything's functioning properly. So that's it for this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.